Hi, welcome to chemistry and in class. In the previous class, I completed the geometrical isomers. Now, optical isomers. So, why we have discussed the optical isomers also? A little bit interaction I given. Now, this is a, a setup for absorbing the optical activity of any organic compound. This is a source of light, that is bulb or a tube light or a sunlight, whatever the source of light this is. I give you a bulb, you may write a sun also, whatever that. Okay. Any source of light. This source of light, it means whatever the light comes from this source, that waves propagate in all directions. Because light is in the form of electromagnetic radiation already you studied in the physics also in chemistry also. Clear? So it is propagated in all direction. Any direction. Here in this gap also you can propagate. If you draw many lines you can draw also. There is your choice. So electromagnetic radiation propagate in all direction. When this light passes through this nickel prism, nickel prism only liquid, not any other prisms. So this nickel prism allows, it means it allows through it only that electrical field, not magnetic, electrical field only allows, remaining all other waveforms are here only it stop. And that light will be propagated in one plane or in one direction. This is in one direction. These are propagated in all direction. This is called PPL, plane polarized light. That's why this nickel prism is known as which one? Polarizer. Nickel is a one prism. Through this when light falls, it polarizes the light. Only it allows only which one? Electrical field. Remaining all waves are stopped here. And it is propagated in one direction. Therefore, it is called plane polarized light. This one plane polarized from this nickel prism. This is light. This is called plane polarized light. This plane polarized light passing through. Again this passing through. This bigger tube is an horizontal tube. That is called polarimeter. That is which one is polarimeter. So that is denoted by some length. But here compulsory the length we have to take in which one? Decimeter. Don't take in meter or centimeter. We have to take in decimeter for next problem solving purpose. That purpose I mentioned here. Okay? And here solution is here one solution. It solution is what is it? Already you learned in the solution chapter. Some solute dissolved in the solvent. Solute dissolved in the solvent. There is one organic compound dissolved in the some suitable solvent for soluble purpose. Organic compound solved in the organic solvent or any other respective solvent also you can take it. But that should be solid. Okay. So organic compound dissolved in that some solvent. Then it has some concentration or not? The concentration should be gram per milliliter only required. Concentration should be which one? Gram per milliliter. Generally, we studied in the solution of the molarity what is it? Moles per liter. Okay. But that I am not taking here because for problem solving in this condition, we have to take gram per milliliter. Clear? So these are very important for next discussion purpose. You should keep in mind compulsory concentration gram per milliliter, length should be decimeter. If they give in centimeter also, we have to convert decimeter. If they give in meter also, we have to convert to decimeter. If they give in liter also, we have to convert to milliliter. If they give in kg also, we have to convert to grams. That we have to keep in mind. So now we have one test tube in that organic compound is present. We have one test tube in that organic compound is present. Which organic compound that is we don't for it. We know the name maybe, but it is optically acquired in it to we don't. So when you pass this light, same light I gave here, one direction light, PPL. This light passed through this tube. This light passed through this tube. Now, here onwards, what about this light? If it is passed as it is, no bend, straight is there, this line is straight, and here also like, uh, this line is straight or bend, straight is there. So this compound when passed through this compound, sorry, 
the light is passed through this compound if it is not changing its direction not compound direction compound is rotating this ppl compound is present here this compound changing the direction of which one light compound changing the light direction if not changed as it is it is possible then three possibilities are there here this light may be possible as it is or light may be change its direction one is in this direction another is in this direction okay if as it is possible means that compound a is this is observable now looking like this here on plane is there like this circle type of there exactly line or like this is there it means light is not rotated now this is the plane light as it is up and down same is it means light not rotated by organic compound now observer is observing like this here one plane is there okay so not change its direction in what we call this condition is called optically inactive optically inactive this compound the compound is optically inactive so that uh, angle of rotation angle of or the observed rotation you can write that observed rotation is zero because that ppl is not move toward the right direction if you see if it is a plane like this line as it is is it not moving if it is move like this right direction if it is move like this that is left direction got the concept so right direction mean what you call dextro left direction what you call levo levo mean left dextro mean right okay not moved any direction mean that is different the light like is and that is optically inactive so if you see this is a plane this is right side this is left side okay if it is right side is moving the line is in like this is moving now straight is it as it is moving in optically in now this line move like this toward the right what the concept like this is move then like slightly bend first less bend after that more bending towards the right direction that is called dextro dextro is optically active dextro is generally denoted by small d or plus dextro denoted is which one small d numbers i am mentioning is small d otherwise plus dextro is optically active or inactive optically active if r is condition here all three at a time not possible all three at a time not possible only any one or any two also possible that also i'll explain so now if the light is move in this direction now see now straight is there straight is there somewhat then what happened this movement slightly change it move towards which direction left this is zero not moving any direction mean optically inactive this observed rotation what is that zero then here we have plus 5 plus 10 plus 15 like zero next here minus 5 minus 10 minus 15 like up to here also we can have some numbers right side positive left side negative therefore here positive we are showing here yeah negative we are showing here then if it is dextro is optically active in levo also which one optically active levo also optically active then here the observed rotation generally observed rotation is denoted by alpha here not theta observed rotation is which one here alpha alpha is how much here zero here alpha is positive values here alpha is negative values any one 5 6 7 8 whatever the number that should be negative value okay so how many conditions are there light plane polarized light may be rotated by 
this compound not compound rotated here which is rotated light rotated by organic compound got the concept not light rotated the organic compound organic compound rotated the light then we will get this three possibility maybe right side dextro maybe left side levo not any direction that is called uh, optically inactive now sometime the organic compound rotate the light right also left also equal magnitude now light rotate the organic compound right also left also equal magnitude right direction 15 left direction 15 then what is the magnitude of the rotation zero because plus 15 minus how much zero so in such case also observed rotation is zero one is not rotated zero possibility when one is not rotated pbr another possibility what is there light rotated but equal magnitude so zero possibility is what are there two possible one is light not rotated another is light rotated but equal magnitude from right left so that is called uh, this is the first condition optical uh, alpha equal to 0 when ppl not change its direction second condition what is there alpha equal to 0 when ppl rotated right and left side equal magnitude example plus 15 or plus 10 minus 10 equal magnitude how much is zero okay these are the conditions then based on this compound now we have to analyze what this compound what is the property to rotate right side what is the property to rotate left side it may be there or not we can identify or not by looking any compound for in this compound is by looking this compound can rotate the right side left side we cannot tell how to tell this property right side rotated or left side rotated ppl compulsory experimentally we have to decide this now geometric license is there by looking at molecular csr trans we can tell or not yes sir but here by looking this molecule it is dextro rotated or levo rotated we cannot tell reason it is experimental quantity okay therefore it is called optical rotation even a optical uh, instruments we are using here polarity on optical instrument therefore we can say dextro or levo or optically inactive or active by uh, doing experiment without experiment we cannot tell that is one uh, important point in optical uh, isometry what is the optical activity the compound or the ability of compound to rotate the ppl this compound having ability to rotate the ppl if rotate the ppl then it may be dextro or lean not rotated optically in any got the concept okay now then this compound may be what is the condition to rotate not rotated one condition rotated one condition so when it not rotated when it rotate otherwise when it is called optically active when it is called optically inactive so first one i am writing here conditions conditions for optically active condition for optically active because here this is also optically active this is also optically active this is optically inactive so what are the conditions may be for optically active the first one condition is chiral compound required okay which is compound required here chiral so what is the chiral here chiral meaning what is 
absence of symmetry elements what are the symmetry elements here sigma mean plane of symmetry ci mean center of symmetry and yes em mean alternate axis of symmetry cm mean axis of symmetry once again i'm telling here what are the symmetry elements sigma mean plane of symmetry other way can write like p o s plane of symmetry c o s center of symmetry alternate axis of symmetry alternate axis of symmetry c and d node the axis of symmetry clear but in problem solving we are mostly using these two in problem solving because we are not doing experiment in examination is yes, that always we are not doing in exam experiments only we have to utilize the data and we have to tell which is optically active which is optically inactive so now only you told that we cannot tell this component is optically active or inactive by looking at molecule but it having some set of rules based on that we can tell but if like directly given we cannot tell this so some rules are there that rules we have to study them. this one sometime rare cases we can say uh, we can utilize for to tell optically active or not so these are mainly involved to decide the compound optically active or inactive this is not involved okay so mainly i will discuss this too if you want i will also discuss this okay now this is one condition here same it is involved in this one only but for you you have to remember this if one chiral carbon is present or asymmetric carbon one chiral carbon or one stereo center stereo center is present always optically active actually the first one only the correct condition but you have to remember this if one chiral carbon is present or there is called stereogenic center or stereo center stereo center or chiral is having some meaning i will tell next so if it is only one present always optically active next we will discuss for each one one what is the plane of symmetry what is the center of symmetry all we will discuss now but first we will come in the conditions this is a condition for optical activity optically active then second one for inactive condition optically inactive in that we have a first one no chiral centers or no chiral molecule okay no chiral center but some exceptions are there correct exceptions what are the exceptions one is alleles another is atro isomerism even binary system or mm, okay binary also there no problem biphenyl systems next trans cyclo octene another one is helicin these are the exception these are do not having any chiral carbons but these are optically active which is given exceptions are mean they are optically active if you want to separate note down these all optically active with respect to them again separately we will discuss don't worry when they are optically active when they are optically inactive 
नेक्स्ट सेकेंड वन इट मे बी मीसो कॉम इट मे बी विच वन मीसो कॉम मीसो कॉम वुड बी ऑप्टिकल एक्टिव और इनएक्टिव अंदर इनएक्टिव वाली बात डिस्कस करेंगे ना इनएक्टिव वाली बात क्लियर तो व्हाट इज द मीसो कॉम वन इट इज ए अथायरल अदर वे कहते हैं नो खायरल मीन व्हाट इज इट अथायरल नो खायरल मीन व्हाट इज इट अथायरल हां इट इज अ अथायरल कंपाउंड विथ टू और मोर स्टीरियोजेनिक सेंटर्स Two or more stereo centers. Sometimes in your second year, hello again, chapter also sometimes this question they may ask, what is the meso compound? You are going to say this. And the third one, racemic meso. Racemic meso. What is the racemic meso? Hmm? Equal amount of Equal amount of enantiomeric pair. Enantiomeric pair. How are? See, meso compound is optically inactive. Racemic mixture also optically inactive. Because we are discussing about optically inactive. This is optically inactive in bracket order due to internal. compensation this resemic mixture is optically inactive due to external compensation what is the internal compensation external compensation you will learn all this thing now good now the question is optically active what is required khair Optically inactive means what is required? Achiral. Achiral means not chiral. Okay. Otherwise, another one what is that? Meso. It is having chiral center. See, chiral center nothing but stereogenic center. Meso compound having which one? Chiral center, but no guarantee. If one chiral carbon is there, compulsory, there is a guarantee it is optically active. More than one chiral carbons or chiral centers are there. No guarantee for optical activity or optically active. Once again, I am clearly telling you, one chiral center is there. Always must and should be optically active. More than one is there, may may not be optically active because you are already given. Meso compound is a achiral compound with two or more stereogenic centers. Stereogenic center means there is chiral centers only. I will tell what is the difference between the chiral, a chiral, and stereo centers. Okay, so keep in mind these two statements very important. Next, a chiral is always optically active. Somebody tell, but there is not a condition because if they not discuss this one, then the statement is wrong. Because generally lower level cookies or anybody teach like this, a chiral is always optically. in a but not because these are optical and uh, chiral centers not there but also they are optically and the last one what is the racemic mixture racemic mixture mean what is there equal amount of enantiomer see one enantiomer d i mean dextro another enantiomer is what is it l but d is optically active or not d is optically active or not dextro l optically active individual optically active together optically inactive how they are together optically inactive equal amount given equal amount mean what is it alpha is zero when pcl rotated right hand left equal magnitude because one the get two compounds are it is rotated right side plus 10 it is rotated left side minus 10 minus 10 plus 10 zero therefore racemic mixture it is Optically inactive. Meso also inactive. I will discuss. 
Now, whatever the terms are there in this, I will discuss. The first one, what is there? Chi. The, what is the first one term? Chi. I think I am discussing reverse. You may be thinking that it is reverse. Because anybody teach first, what is it? Chiral, achiral, everything first, all basic terms they teach, and then they will come to this one. But already you know there are some basics. That's why I am teaching reverse. This will come actually last. Okay? If you read any books also. Chiral meaning what is it? Keep in mind. First, chiral meaning what is it? Its mirror image is not superimposable on its original structure. Okay? Non superimposable mirror image. Chiral meaning what is it? Non superimposable mirror image. For example, I can say my mirror image. Pick up my mirror image and place. Then it may be superimposable or may not be superimposable. So may not, uh, not superimposable in what you call chiral. Clear this is? Superimposable meaning what is there? Now, this is thumb, these are the, these fingers. Thumb means exactly thumb should be superimposable. This is indicator finger, middle finger, ring finger, small finger. Exactly superimposable. This is called superimposable. But don't place like this. If you place like this, every molecule is superimposable. Every molecule. Then how to place? Now, this is the left hand. This is the right hand. Left hand is appearing in middle as a right hand. If you place like this, everyone is super important. That's a known place like this. Now like this. These are the two molecules. Pick up and place like this. Then it is superimposable or not. Superimposable meaning what is it? Not only one bond or one atom superimposable. All should be superimposable. Any one is missing. That is not superimposed. What you have to consider is non superimposed. What the point is? Each atom, each bond should be exactly superimposed, exactly aligned, arrangement. Then it is called superimposed. Anyone is missing it? Totally it is non superimposed. What the concept is? Anyone is missing or all are missing, that is what you call non superimposed. Superimposable meaning what is that? Chiral. I'm ah, sorry, achiral. Superimposable meaning what is that? Chiral. Sorry, again, this again. Chiral. Chiral meaning what is that? Non superimposable mirror image. Clear? Achiral meaning what is that? Superimposable mirror image. Clear? In superimposable mirror image, what is there? All bonds, all atoms exactly arranged like this. But don't arrange like this. Always place like this. In such case, it may be arranged exactly. This is called superimposable. Not exactly anyone missing or all missing or at least one missing is any what you call that is chiral. Chiral means in that the symmetry element are absent. What are the symmetry element mainly for problem solving? Plane of symmetry, center of symmetry or absent. Any one is present in this, any one is present that is a chiral. Both absent, then only chiral. Anyone is present in what you call that is achiral. Achiral meaning what is that? Symmetrical. Carefully note on this words. Achiral meaning what is that? Symmetrical. Chiral meaning what is that? Asymmetric. Chiral meaning what is that? Asymmetric. Asymmetric meaning what? These are absent. One, two, three. But for problem solving, which one I am taking here? Plane of symmetry and center of symmetry. What the answer? Now we know chiral also, a chiral also. What the answer? Okay. But actually, what we have to do? How to check that this chiral? Be? How to check the chiral? Be? Draw 3D molecule. If any molecule given to you, draw 3D molecule. Then draw its mirror image. First one, what is that? Draw 3D molecule. Second one, what is that? Draw its mirror image. Third one. Pick up the mirror image and place on the original. Then, if it is exactly superimposable, a chiral, not superimposable, chiral. But this much we will do in examination, time taking. Yes or no? Actual condition, what you have to check, chiral, how to check it? This is only actual. Draw the 3D molecule, draw its mirror image, pick up and place on the original. If it is superimposable, then a chiral. Not superimposable, then that is chiral. But if you do 